It's really campy. <laughs> Aircraft salvaged by the ATA. See, this is what are crashed. Returning to Royal Air Force service. They are used for bombing throughout German occupied Europe. They also fly to occupy Poland, carrying the silent unseen couriers and weapons needed by the home army. But not even their passengers or pilots know how much these planes will soon be needed. Don't you do it. Don't, don't you do it. I'm, I'm not fucking with you. <sighs> this country has ceased to exist. Poland is no more. The Germans have created a general government out of part of the occupied lands and incorporated the rest into the Reich. Terror reigns everywhere. The Germans persecute the Jews, forcing them to resettle in ghettos and then send transports to extermination camps. From the very first days of the war, Poles are arrested and shot. On the 27th of September, 1939, while the Polish army is still fighting, an underground military organization is established. The service for Poland's victory, which is transformed into the Union of Armed Struggle and the Home Army. The largest underground army in occupied Europe. In order to fight on, they need to be in contact with the Polish government in London. To this end, the 1586th Special Purpose Squadron is created in 1943 carrying couriers and essential supplies. It's an express line to hell. As the planes make their way over German-occupied Europe, flying at the limits of their capabilities, running on fumes. 1943 becomes a watershed year. The Allies land in Italy. On the Eastern Front, the Germans suffer defeat at Kursk. A year later, the Allies land in Normandy. The days of the Third Reich seem numbered. Meanwhile, another threat arrives from the East, Hitler's recent ally, Soviet Russia. Its armies defeat the Third Reich and advance, occupying Polish lands. They establish political control over them and usher in a new terror. In response, the leaders of the Polish state introduce Plan Tempest, a demonstration of Polish presence in the liberated areas. Home army units are to reveal themselves and cooperate with the Soviets. Stalin, however, does not intend to share his power. Operation Tempest does not include big cities. At the last moment, Warsaw is included, where an uprising is being prepared. The Germans can thwart these plans with a single decree, forcing the Varsovians to build fortifications. It is clear to the home army that this will decimate the Polish forces in Warsaw. It's necessary to act. It's now or never. The dramatic decision is made on the 1st of August. The uprising in Warsaw breaks out. The insurgents manage to capture the city center the main post office, the postal station, the power station, the arsenal. However, the Germans defend themselves fanatically. They send new troops to Warsaw. The insurgents keep on fighting. They look to the sky, but the only planes over their heads are Stukas carrying death. Meanwhile, Polish pilots stationed in Italy learn from the radio about the outbreak of the uprising. Their commander has only eight operational airplanes. It's not until the 4th of August that the pilots receive permission to airdrop aid for the home army, but in completely different parts of Poland. The pilots decide to break through to Warsaw on their own. Will they make it in time before the SS troops, which are ready to crush the uprising? On the 15th of August, our crew is ready. The objective? Warsaw in the Campinos Forest. The route and takeoff time are decided for us. We have to be over the target between midnight and 2 a.m. to avoid interception by German fighters over Hungary. The sun rises at 4.20 a.m. May we live to see that sunrise. Oh, God, here we go. Anti-aircraft defense, they've got us. 
Am Attention. I the ball turret? Object oh no. That's artillery. Anti-aircraft guns on the right. Have cigarettes? Target their searchlights. Attention. They see us. There's no way this gun is like... Target hit. Get him. I don't believe these guns were this good, but whatever. One left. Oh, this is much better. Why wasn't I shooting like this before? One left. One target. One target. Look at that. Target hit. Why would we not be going as fast as we possibly could through here? Love how I have infinite ammo in this one. Poor women had to re reload every two seconds. They won't hurt anyone anymore. It's done. I get sniped at. I'm like, bro, why are you in the hunting stand? It can be hot. Oh god, now I'm in the top turret. This is the one that has horrible. Get wrecked. I reload. So the zoomed in is just awful. Why would you ever? Alright, well, we got a minute. Reload. Like, I keep forgetting when I'm recording a video and I'm just having fun, like, shooting at this turret. I don't think this gun is rated for that. Good shot. Good shot, Bernard. I can't see what I'm shooting at. We're gonna die. Hey, bro. Shoot the big one. Shoot the big one. Is it over? I don't. One left. I just one got two. <laughs> like, what is what is this? Look over there. I recognize it. Must be ours. It's the elusive. Elusive or not, now it's the enemy. Fire at it! There we go. Bro, this is not the time to take your time to reload these. I'm almost dead. This is not okay. Well, we bought ourselves a bit of peace. This again. The bridge ahead, Blodek. Look, I'll be damned. Something's flying on those tracks. Blodek, you've got a chance. A train. Just don't waste the ammunition. Easy. I won't waste it. Well, we're dead, so. See, I'm dead. Please don't, don't, don't crash. Okay. 
I don't have an Emmy anymore. The bridge ahead, Blodek. Oh, thank the God. Oh, full health, too. On those tracks. Blodek, you've got a chance. A train. Just don't waste the ammunition. Easy. I won't waste it. Yeah, because I hit all three of them from half a mile away. You're welcome. Is that a glow up ahead? Is that uh, Warsaw? The capital is on fire. The damn Germans set it ablaze. God, our people are there. In that hell for the second week now. Maybe those crap cockroaches all go to hell. <laughs> the subtitles don't exactly match up. Don't you fucking freeze. Okay. Whoa! I am like the perfect gunner. Bite me. Why are we so low? Like, go up a couple hundred feet, bro. Everyone to their awful. station. I'll make a turn to assess the situation. Flaudet, keep an eye on the situation. Column of vehicles down there. Headed for the drop zone. Heads up. It's the Prudential. Don't worry. I'll go around it. This is our drop zone. Clear for now. This looks awful. Really cool, but really awful. Get him, get him. Reload before we get bank left. Oh, ho, 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 the poor caravan. You didn't know. You didn't know. German transporters. Dodek, take the lower machine gun. Don't let them reach the square. Our struggle will be in vain. One hit. Good job. Confirmed. Destroyed. Got it. I ain't getting low with nothing, sir. I am taking them all with this. I'll make another turn. Come on, come on. There we go. Reload. How'd I end up over here? Oh, is it a tank? Am I shooting? Oh, okay. There ain't no way in hell that tank shooting on me up here. Maybe like a modern tank, but a World War II tank? You joking? Hell, he only figured them things out like 30 years before. I don't know exactly this would be like the tank killer weapon, but it was just two light machine guns bolted to a platform. Okay, let's go. No! Come on. Yep, got him. That's gone. What German reinforcements? He's acting like the plane's near me. All I know is that we should not be doing this much damage out here. We got it. Like maybe the bottom turret, maybe. Last turn. I can't hang around here any longer. Now or never. No, but aim no. accurately at them, because these anti-aircraft guns will blow us out of the sky. Good, done.
Reload. All targets destroyed. I confirm. All targets destroyed. Good Sweet. job. We're flying over the drop zone. We're starting the drop. Blodek, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. The package is on target. Hit. Right, on target. Congratulations. We're getting out of this hell. What you doing? Okay. Attention, aircraft silhouette at six o'clock. Type? I don't see it. It's too dark. I see them. They're junkers. Damn it, they're coming for us. Attention, from above. He's gonna die. I repeat, he's hit. I, I did not mean to hit. Scraped him, but he's still in the game. Ow. Hey, y'all need to accelerate. It's a club. They've got us. Scraped him, but he's still in the game. Oh my god, this it's is terrible. Look out from the right. I've got him. No, I'm so dead. So dead. Oh yes, I did. Talma, not dead. Where is he at? They're closing in on us from six o'clock. Oh, oh there he is. I should be dead. More are coming our way. Where am I at? Oh, top. Attention! This is fucking fantastic. Well, well, yeah, I died. Can I at least start it on the top? Attention! Yes, thank God. More are coming our way. It's coming from the right. Look out from the right. Did you hit it? Oh, that's not good. Hey, y'all need to like go faster. Above us. He's hit. I repeat, he's hit. This gun sucks. If we ever put this one together, right. needs to get fired. Right. Good job. Got him. Keep an eye out for more. This is what I would have put on the tail of the gun. I'm not gonna lie. I can't even like maneuver that quickly. Shoot my own ter er, tail. Come on, come on. I got him. Got him. Is everyone okay? Sight gunner reporting in. Radio operator here. I'm in one piece. I'm intact as well. I mean, the co pilot reporting. Rear gunner reporting readiness. Mechanic reporting in. Second Lieutenant Bernard reporting. I'm all right. More or less. Well, boys, you're all real sharpshooters. Now well, let's head back to the base. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> We're returning to cruising altitude. Oh. We're on fire. What did they hit? The engine. Damn it. Gentlemen, the raid is over. I can't hold us anymore. Bailing out. Jump, Flodek, quickly. I'm right behind you. I have not seen another person since the entire game. Here goes nothing. Don't you, don't you freeze. You better load. She was about to say there's plenty of, plenty of processing power for you. In our line of work, one often becomes a national hero. 
unfortunately, posthumously. After years of fighting in the West, we all dream of returning home. But hell, not like this. I didn't fight my way to France in September to spend the rest of the war in an off-lag. I knew only one thing. I would not be taken alive. Are you better make me do a stealth mission? Mm. We're right outside of a German base, huh? So I wanna know how you jumped out. But the plane still exploded right where your position is. That's not like momentum based. That would be right, right. Okay, just want to make sure. Alive. Broken, wow. Okay. Scratched. I'm back. I need to contact the Ohm army. Don't even know where I am. And most importantly, I need to destroy the radar. It can't fall into the hands of the Germans. No use. This stuff won't work anymore. All I can do is blow it all up. Explosive charges are usually placed in marked wooden transport crates. That should be enough. Is this the radar? It's not what I thought he was about to do with it. Bro, run for run. the hills. I'm deaf. Now I need to find the radio just to make sure an entire German battalion doesn't come running. There has to be a transmitter somewhere. Well, I think forced labor is pretty, pretty self explanatory. Well, it won't be easy. I can try to proceed, but the chances are slim, or I'll use the minefield map. It didn't register <laughs> with me with what he was talking about. Now I need to find the radio just to make sure an entire German... Mountain Betty's forced labor. Yeah, general government. Battalion doesn't come running. There has to be a trans. Well, it won't be easy. I can try to proceed, but the chances are slim. Or I'll use the minefield map. I can't read that. Oh. One. That's the one on trip right there. So you have a lot of faith in where you think these mines are. I mean, you can probably see them. Yeah, you see them. Oh, see that one right there. That's one thing I do appreciate is they actually took the time to put the assets in. Like they could have literally got away with just. Making it so you explode in a certain area. They didn't have to put the mines in here. And they did. And I appreciate that. I'm gonna fucking blow up. Like, this is so tense right now. I'm sorry. I should be able to just... Blue uh, can do... Be it right. I'll follow the Cutting through the swamp. 
trench foot. Love it. I didn't think this would be part of what I'm doing today. Hide in the bushes? No. Guess I'm good. I think if I knock and ask very politely, they'll let me use the radio. This looks like a horror game. Here goes nothing. Sudden movements. I might be able to sneak through. Patience. I have to wait for the right moment. Why are you? Why do you have lights on your own trench? That's a bit counterproductive, but. I thought I died. Look at them. So close together, a mouse couldn't slip through. I have to find another way. Or what? Achtung, Achtung, ich widerrufe den Alarm. Alle Besatzungen an ihre Positionen. Bedienungen der 88er Geschütze, ihr habt zwei Minuten zur Rückkehr. All right, they're gone. Sweet. Just need another minute. I think I've got something. It's one more five, won't it? Hello? This is Hornbeam 1. Three poles on the road. They're spilling the beans like crazy. I can't get through. I have to rearrange them somehow. Grab one. You don't have the equipment for that. I've got no choice. If... Fuses of the projectiles. It's the only way in this situation. Damage the fuses. Copy. I mean, it's a piece of cake. Where's our meeting spot? Three kilometers from here. A lone barn. When you're ready, signal SOS with lights. That's how we'll recognize you. Hornbeam 1. Copy. Over and out. Nope. Am I going this way? Searchlights again? Bloody hell! I don't like how you talk like an angsty team, bro. Like, you know what, where we're at. Oh well. 
Is there any actual Germans hanging around? No. Spotlight dudes. There's a fuse box. Now I have to dismantle and arm one of them. Why? I have to screw the cover on now. Achtung, Achtung, ich widerrufe den Alarm. Alle Besatzungen an ihre... Quickly now. Next fuse. Yep, I'm there. <laughs> no, no hesitation. Just gun me down. All right, we're we're speed running this. Searchlights again. Bloody hell! Go this way. Halt! Oh, fuck, there's a damn light there. Oh. Grenade. Why couldn't I throw a grenade in there? Like that sounds. Searchlights again. Bloody, Bloody hell. hell! I'm whining, you fucking teenager. I mean, these guys probably were teen teenagers now that I think about it. I'm going around. This guy needs to be fired. There's a fuse box. Now I have to dismantle and arm one of them. I have to screw the cover on now. Achtung, Achtung, ich widerrufe den Alarm. Alle Besatzungen an ihre... Quickly now. Next fuse. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let him go back. The timer does not help my nerves. I right, wait on this guy. How it's like the light of God. Gabriel's gonna come down from heaven. Second fuse. Let him choke. I hope it doesn't blow up in my hands. I have no idea what I did there. All right, one more pole left, and the Krauts can go choke. That was lucky. This part of being a pilot? I don't remember this being part. Isn't that a bomb? Achtung, Achtung, ich widerrufe den Alarm. Alle Besatzungen an ihre Positionen. Bedienungen der 88er Geschütze. Ihr habt zwei Minuten zur Rückkehr. Please just, please just, just give me a cut, please. Achtung, Achtung, okay. ich widerrufe den Alarm. Alle Besatzungen an ihre Positionen. Bedienungen der 88er Geschütze. Ihr habt zwei Minuten oh, zur fucked. Rückkehr. It's like they set it up just for me. Yes! Let's go!
go. You would sit here and watch it. Well, that gave him a bloody nose. Should have been a commando, but no, I wanted to fly. No, that was terrible. Just stay in the fucking plane, dude. Wait, what? Now I have to flash him a signal with my lights, or they'll think I'm a kraut. Good morning, gentlemen. Man, I envy you guys. Take care, for our work is far from over. As long as Warsaw is fighting... Why do you have your own monologue, bro? On the night of August 16th to 17th, 1944, the crew of the Halifax bomber JP-220C under the command of Leszek Alciani delivered the supply pods for the Warsaw insurgents. The entire cargo landed successfully at Napoleon Square in Warsaw and was retrieved by the fighting Poles. During the overflight, the crew constantly exchanged fire with German anti-air guns deployed along the banks of the Vistula River and within Warsaw itself. On the way home, the bomber was engaged and damaged by a German Junkers Ju-88 fighter plane. All the crew members, except Lezek Ulsiani and Jan Luke, managed to bail out. The Halifax crashed into a barn in the village of Dembina, near Bochnia, in the Lesser Poland region. Miraculously, all but one crew member survived the crash. Wojmierz Bernhardt sustained only minor injuries as he landed on a tree, which softened his fall. After making contact with a member of the Home Army, he joined the unit of 2nd Lieutenant Zdzisław Meteor Strasinski. From August 1st to September 13th, the number 1586 Special Duties Flight conducted 54 sorties, losing 11 crews. Throughout the Warsaw Uprising, 306 Allied planes dropped 159 tons of weapons, medicines, and food. Although this was too little to change the course of the uprising, it was enough to show that the city was not left to fight alone. During the years 1940 to 1947, more than 16,000 people served in the Polish Air Force in Great Britain. But that was Aviators, War in the Skies. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you pick it up, play it yourself, support these people. Like I said, great game. That was free. Normally that would be like 10 bucks on Steam. Great game. Thanks for watching. Try to play it, but you're never gonna be 